Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Eden Zero, Chapter 81. Uh, when we last left our heroes, uh, the fight between uh, Homura and Clean continued, uh, with Homura finding some clothes and a swimsuit at a strip club. Uh, everyone at the strip club got kind of sucked up into uh, Sylph's air ball. Uh, now their fight is continuing. Meanwhile, Daichi is threatening to torture Rebecca and has kind of started torturing her. Um, so that was kind of a meh thing. Uh, Shiki versus Jean is continuing, and nothing happened there. Uh, and we got to see a few lines from Noah, who also knows what the deal is with number 29. Um, but we still don't. So yeah, last time, that was it. So let's get, jump right on into Chapter 81, Intercession. Uh, and our picture here is, uh, both Hermit and Pino playing some kind of, uh, Hermit looks like she's on a PSP, uh, and Pino's maybe on a Switch? I can't quite tell. Anyway, uh, so Rebecca's right where we left her, with her being bound by the vein roots, uh, and Daichi's holding up his 60-day coin, uh, and he folds it in half, uh, and tosses it, tosses it to the side, and Rebecca watches it. Eek! Torture! Is it like funny pose with it? ba ban Lifted! I, I can't even d begin to describe the absurdity of, of Daichi's movements here. Hoo he Hoo he 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 And then he gets, like, right up in uh, Rebecca's face. We see his ether gear lines are already on. Uh, and we see the roots kind of extend from, like, the forearm all the way back to the armpit. Uh, uh, and then it's, like, getting up on, in her chest. It's not quite reached her face yet. Down her legs to uh, stop ah, and now now it's starting to reach up to her to her to her uh, her neck. It's just gotten to her face. How is it? Painful, right? It hurts, doesn't it? The pain's tree eats into its target and adds pain wherever it goes. Uh, ah, and then finally she she lets out a scream. Oh, nice scream! Let me hear more. Uh, she keeps on screaming. Uh, and what looks to be like a, a ring of sweat breaks free? Or something? Oh no! She cried and Laguna turned her into water! Um, and Daichi is like, is shocked by that. Anyone who cries in front of me turns into water. Laguna? You know you're not supposed to hurt her. So Laguna's back and walking around again. What's that for? You ruined my fun. I hate you, you water wuss. That woman belongs to the boss. Don't blame me when you get in trouble. You know how scary he can be. Uh, and Daichi, like, starts to freak out. Let's, let's keep this between us. P please? Want some chocolate? Definite no. I'm thinking there's something poisonous in Daichi's chocolate. Uh, then we check back in at the club. Stop resisting, and Self sends this, like... Uh, this, like, wall of wind at, um, at Homer, who backflips out of the way. I must deliver this medicine to Wise. I uh, just like a little spin on the pole. I can't afford to let you defeat me. You're like a dancing girl. No, the dance I wish to show you is of dancing swords. And she summons a whole, like, slew of ether blades. Kind of like, um, Urza's Heaven's Wheel Armor. Uh, and she throws her swords at Sylph. My wind inhales every kind of attack, and her blades just get sucked up in the wind. Surely they can find a weak point somewhere. Weak point? You are the one full of weak points. And the wind goes for the medicine. Oh no. The medicine? Uh, and she, she runs after it, but then Homer herself gets caught up in the wind now. Too bad for you. Oh no! And the mask gets blown off. Uh, and she's sucked up. Um, snatched into the ball of wind. I must deliver the medicine, or wise will. I wish you would stop worrying, because everyone is powerless before Draken. Uh, so yeah, Homer just lost. Um, un unless she finds a way out of the wind ball, which Rebecca couldn't do. Uh, though maybe with all of the bar there, she can find a way. Um... Then we check back in on Sabir's bar, where he's still with uh, Wise, who's unconscious. Uh, and Sabir looks at him. Looking at you reminds me of when I was young. 
Those were the good old days. Wise. Wasn't he... Uh, his, his good old days were him, like, being a thug and, like, murdering people. Yo, I found you. Uh, and that's Fee, or Fi, or however you pronounce his name, entering in the bar. Your medicine ain't coming. All your friends are wiped out. Who, who are you? One of the element four, Fee of Fire. You know what happens when you harbor fugitives, don't you, old man? Uh, and Sabir looks at him with this grimace on his face. I shot that punk. Now I'm gonna take him. Please, don't kill him. He's still so young. Yeah, I got a little hot-headed back there. But I ain't killing nobody. So I guess that's what they're gonna, gonna let Homer lose and still have Wise live if, if uh, Draken's not trying to kill them. Unless they're a traitor. And he points, he grabs, he isn't using his sniper rifle. He just pulls out a pistol and aims it at, uh, at Sabir. Eek! No! No, don't! And we hear a bang. Did Sabir just die? I don't know, but we check back in on the Shiki fight. Uh, and Shiki is, like, on the ground, barely able to move. Master! Pino, like, crawls forward a little bit. I was ordered to take you in. And, um, Jean kind of lands on the ground with a little gust of wind. But I doubt leaving you alive would be in Draken's best interests. Uh, and, Dra and Shiki very shakily pulls himself up off the ground, gets onto his hands and knees, gets back onto his feet and lets out a rah! And does, did Shiki just get his own overdrive form? That is not what I was expecting to happen, and I'm not sure it was the best thing to happen. Uh, but yeah, Shiki is in some form of an overdrive form. You can overdrive too? Magimek attack! Gravity fist! Uh, and, um, Gene readies his own attack. Sky Mech Ninjutsu attack. Crushing Gale! Now die! Uh, but before they can go at each other, Draken appears and hits them both down. They both fall. Uh, Shiki gets out of his overdrive state, uh, as does Gene. That's enough. Draken? I thought I told you not to kill him, Jean. This is the problem with ex-mercenaries. Uh, Shiki looked at him. That's Draken Joe. And another thing. What you're doing, what the kid's doing. That's not real overdrive. What? Real overdrive happens when you push your ether past its critical point, causing a change in the ether that makes up your body. And then Draken goes into his own, his own overdrive. And we see his body, like, his, like half of his head turns this kind of crystalline form, uh, just, like, the power off of him. Uh, and Shiki glares at him. Where's Rebecca? You don't need to know that. That woman belongs to me. And that is the end of the chapter. Uh, so, yeah, much better chapter than last time. Even if it still does kind of feel, feel the same thing that 79 was doing, that's just showing us how beat um, Team Eden Zero is. Uh, you know, not only can Shiki only, like, with the last last glimpse of his power get into an overdrive, get into, a, like, a, supposedly a fake overdrive state. Before he gets to do anything with it, he is immediately beat down by Draken. Um, so that's the first, that's one things are going wrong. Um, Wise actually, uh, is doing pretty good, all things considered, uh, because he was dying. But now, Fee is here and does not want him to die, because Dragon wants Team Eden Zero with him, for some reason, we're not sure why. Uh, it does not seem to be because he wants them all to join his crew. Um, because as we see on that last page, um, uh, Draken does not think that Shiki needs to know re where Rebecca is. Um, but he, he needs the rest of them for something. Um, so, so Wise is going to live. With, with or without the medicine, Wise is still going to live. Um, Sabir, on the other hand... Well... I mean, it's, it's perhaps, perhaps Sabir, like, turn, turned it around and kicked his ass and then, ki and then killed him, which would explain why we don't get to see what happened. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see on that later. Uh, Homer also loses, uh, sealed away by, uh, Sylph, who no one has 
any way to beat yet. You know, Laguna, we found a way to beat him, and then Wise just did it. Um, and then Fee and Daichi, so, like, their abilities seem stoppable in a way that Sylphs kind of doesn't. You know, Daichi has his pain tree, but we're not quite sure how that works, so maybe he requires some kind of contact with them. Fee's just a really good sniper, uh, but Sylph can just, like, suck anything up real fast. Uh, so I don't know how we're going to deal with her when the time comes. Uh, and then Rebecca turns into water, uh, thanks to Laguna, who is all right. So even that supposed victory against Laguna has been reversed. Now that Laguna is just right back in, right back in the fight. Uh, so yeah, it's not a great spot for anyone in the cast, but you know what? That's the kind of shit that stories are made of. Um, that made much more sense in my head. I don't know what I was getting at there. Uh, but anyway, that's all I have to say for this video. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself. If you did, look for a drop me a like or subscribe or, you know, do whatever makes you happy, you know? And remember, your life is your own, okay? Bye!